Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be going over swap files in Linux. Linux divides its physical RAM into chunks of memory called pages. Swapping is the process whereby a page of memory is copied to the pre-configured space on the hard disk called swap space to free up that page of memory. The combined sizes of the physical memory and the swap space is the amount of virtual memory available. Swapping is necessary for two important reasons. First, the system requires more memory than is physically available. The kernel swaps out less used pages to give memory to the current application or the process that needs the memory immediately. Second, a significant number of pages used by an application during its startup phase may only be used for initialization and then never used again. The system can swap out those pages and free the memory for other applications or even for the disk cache. However, swapping does have a downside. Compared to memory, disks are very slow even if they are SSDs. Memory speed from your RAM can be measured in nanoseconds, where disks from your SSD or your hard drive are typically measured in milliseconds. So you do want to prevent swapping as often as possible. So let's go ahead and jump in and see how we can set this up. So the first thing we can do is take a look at our current swap space, and there are several ways we can do it. We can take a look at it through the htop command, and right under memory where we see swp, we can see that we have 3.33 gigabytes of swap space available, and we're using zero of it. We can also use the free-h for human readable form, and we can see there our swap space again. And we can also get the best information using the swap on command. So if we use swap on, pack pack, show, it shows us the name of our swap file. So it's located in the root under swap.img. Uh, type is file. If it was a partition, it would say partition. It shows us the size, 3.3 gigabytes. We're currently using none of it. And the priority is set to negative two. Uh, the priority really only comes into play if you have more than one swap file or partition, which we'll see here in a minute. Um, if it's automatically set, it's set to a negative number. Um, if we set it ourselves, it's going to be a positive number, and it's going to be a number between 0 and 32,767, I believe. So to create a swap file, the first thing we need to do is carve up some space for it. And we'll do that using the dd command. And typically, your swap file is going to go in the root of the file system. So let's go ahead and change directory to slash. And you can see we have our original, the swap.img, but we're going to create a second one. So we're going to use the dd command. So we're going to say sudo dd. The input file is going to be dev0. And the output file is going to be our new swap file, and we'll call that swap file. And then we're going to do a block size of one megabyte, and we're going to do a count of 1024 to give us a one gigabyte swap file. So we'll run that, enter our sudo password, and it'll take just a moment for it to complete. So we have our one gigabyte swap file. The next thing we need to do is change the permissions of it. Your swap file needs to have permissions of 600. So we can do ls on the swap file. And you can see that right now they are set to 644. So we are going to change that to uh, 600 and then swap file. And now we can see that it's read only by root. The next thing we need to do is make it swap. So we're going to use sudo make swap. And here is our UUID, which will come in handy in just a moment when we make this permanent in the uh, Etsy FS tab file. And then we need to turn it on. So we're going to use sudo swap on and swap file. And then we can take a look at it again using the swap on tac tac show. We can see that we now have two swap files. We have our original, the swap.img file, which is 3.3 gigabytes. And that one has a higher priority, so it's going to be used first. 
And then our second one is the slash swap file uh, with the size of one gigabyte, and that's negative three, so it's going to be used second. So with the priorities, the higher the priority, the first it's going to be used. If they have the same priority, it's going to alternate between the two of them until they're both filled up. Now, if you only have a single swap partition or swap file, then the priority doesn't matter at all. But if you do want to change the priority to it, we can do that by first turning off the swap partition. So we're going to use swap off, swap file, and then we can use the sudo swap on, and then tack p, and then we can give it a priority. So we'll give it a priority of 10, swap file, and then when we use the swap on show, we can see that the priority changed. At this point, we have a working swap file. But if we reboot our computer, the changes are going to be lost. So to make these permanent, we need to edit the etsyfs tab file. So we're going to sudo vim into the etsyfs tab. And then down at the bottom, we need to make a second. So we're going to call it swap file. And then the mount point is none. The type is swap. The option is SWP. And here, if it's the only swap file, you don't need to put any extra options in it. But if you had two and you wanted to change the priority, we can do a comma PRI equals, and we'll call it nine. And then we're going to go zero and zero, and then write those out. Now, when we reboot our computer, we'll have a working swap file, and the priority would be set to nine. And that's how you use a swap file in Linux. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.